it is Saturday. Monday. Say it. Today's Monday. It's Monday. <laughs> um, so I didn't sleep at all last night. I think I slept for like an hour. I hate nights like that. Like, because now I'm going to be shot all day. Patriots lost the Super Bowl last night, so everybody in, <laughs> I would say in Massachusetts, but I'm not going to encounter everybody in Massachusetts. Everyone's going to be in a pissed off mood today, but um, I'm not like a sports fan at all, but I will watch the Super Bowl when the Patriots are in it because the only sport Steven really likes is football and he's a Patriots fan, so we were both screaming at the TV last night. It was a stressful game for someone who doesn't even like football that much, so... Oh my god. It was just like last year when they won at the last second. I thought that was gonna happen again, but it did not. This week on Thursday, we have to take Aiden to the place in Boston again for like a follow-up meeting with the uh, like the, the caseworker lady, um, ugh, having like acid reflux issues and everything else. So he's not going to school on Thursday because his appointment is at one o'clock, I think it is. And it just, it's, it's pointless to bring him to school for like an hour and then have to dismiss him because we have to leave and go all the way to Boston and fight traffic. And Wednesday, his grandma has to go to Boston for her I'm not even sure what they're doing. I know she has to go to the cardiac um, surgery center of the hospital, but it's something to do with like getting an image of her heart. I know that. I don't know why they're sending her all the way to Boston, but we've been telling her all weekend to call her daughter and remind her that it's in Boston so that she knows to be here early to get her and everything and she still hasn't called her yet. So I gotta be on her today to make sure that she calls her and lets her know, hey, Wednesday is my appointment in Boston at 1.30 so you're gonna have to be here at like 10.30, 11 o'clock. Ugh. So that's pretty much it. That's all that's going on. I wanted to vlog this weekend but I hadn't taken all the files off my phone yet so I didn't have enough memory on there and just yeah I don't I don't know why I don't vlog at home more like once Steven is home because I know you guys get a kick out of seeing him in my vlogs but it's like by the time he gets home at night it's like quarter past six six thirty and all we want to do is relax and chill out and I don't feel like pulling out the camera and there, there's really nothing of note to record or anything because we'll just like sit and watch TV and have dinner and everything so these are gross guys like really gross I usually like to try all the new uh, M&Ms that come out for the holidays but these are just bleh I love cheesecake but they do not taste like cheesecake <laughs> so I went to my phone is probably gonna be shaky right now I'm sorry but <laughs> I went to Walmart today I got that done as you can see, I just got some new white cheesecake M&M's and they're disgusting. Um, I always, I went in there for like three, three or four things and I always walk out spending like $80 in there. It's ridiculous. So I always have all this new stuff that I want to try. <laughs> I got Steven some uh, fiery habanero Lay's potato chips. Um, this morning, Usually when I go to bring Aiden to school, like, we don't, I know some school, all schools are different with how you drop off your kids, like, I know a lot of people that have to, like, wait in a line inside their car and, like, drop off their kids one by one and move up the line. His school isn't like that. You just, it's got a lot of parking, so you just park and then you walk your kid to the door and the teachers come out and get them, so... Obviously, the parents are usually, like, congregated outside the door, and, uh, like, it sounds like everybody is sick 
and I am like praying that Aiden doesn't get sick because like one of the girls dads was like oh yeah both her brothers are homesick today one of the other girls grandmas was like yeah her brother is homesick too which means those kids are gonna get sick and they're in class with Aiden uh, <laughs> I know there's like nothing you can do to prevent getting sick in the winter time but I'm just so uh, so paranoid about it and so freaking done with being sick because I've already been sick like three times in the past few months. Like, you guys, that lady is in front of me again that never friggin' stays in the lane when she's driving. <laughs> This time, as soon as we came on the street, she was over the yellow line. She's usually, usually when I'm stuck behind her, she's like over the white line on the right-hand side. Today is Tuesday. Um, we've had a hectic morning because all Steven's doing is yelling at his grandmother. She's getting so frustrating. We. She never called her daughter yesterday to remind her of this appointment that's in Boston tomorrow. She's doing it on purpose because she doesn't want to go. So to, this morning he told her again and she's like, I'm not going. I keep refusing that appointment. And we're like, no, you never refused it because if you had refused to have it done, they wouldn't have gone through everything to make the appointment and set it up and give you a registration number for the hospital and everything. She never refused to have this done. And all of her other doctors are waiting on making appointments because they're waiting for this imaging of her heart because they might they don't know exactly what's wrong they don't know how bad it is they might have to change her medications and stuff and they're just to put it in a nutshell everybody's waiting for the results of this test and she doesn't want to go and have it done so Stephen got pissed and he texted his aunt and was like her appointment is tomorrow I keep telling her she keeps forgetting she refuses to call you so now she knows about it and then he texted his dad and was like grandma keeps refusing to go to this appointment tomorrow she doesn't want to go blah 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 so neither of them answered him back yet so he just left for work and I'm sure he'll call me with an earful on his lunch break but we're going to school right now and Aiden has to go to Boston on Thursday it's not as bad now because we know how to get to the place. Like, we, this is going to be our third time going there. But the traffic over there is so horrible. Like, I'm not... I'm not from Boston. Like, you guys can tell just from me driving around. I don't live in the city city. We're, like, an hour away from Boston. So, anybody who doesn't live there and has to commute there for work, I feel so bad for because I would not have the patience to do that every morning and every night in rush hour traffic. It's kind of like LA, like I see people's vlogs and they're constantly stuck in traffic in LA and I could never deal with that, never. Always wanted to visit there, but never could I live there. Um, I think after I drop him off, I'm gonna run to the mall because remember how I was talking about that Nickelodeon eyeshadow palette, a hot topic? Well, I got an email yesterday saying they canceled my order because they don't have any more of them. Why they put it back in stock on the website if they didn't have any more, I have no idea. But now I gotta email them because they never gave me my $5 coupon back, which I think I should get it back and be able to use it on something else, seeing as how they canceled my order on me. But I'm hoping that the store has it because... Um, Otherwise, they're just like on eBay for 50 bucks and I'm not paying that much for it because I know from the reviews that the eyeshadow quality is not that great, but it's just like a, a collector's thing for me because I love anything 90s Nickelodeon. <laughs> so I was totally not a Disney Channel child because we didn't have Disney Channel in our cable package until I was like 16 or something like that. It was just not a standard cable thing around here anyway. Um, so I grew up a Nickelodeon and it was like, I think my favorite Nicktoon was Doug. 
and then like Rugrats and Ren and Stimpy, which I still, like even when I watch Ren and Stimpy to this day, I don't understand how that was a kid's show. <laughs> like Spongebob is kind of pushing it with fart jokes and stuff, but Ren and Stimpy had like bare butts. There was an episode where Stimpy had a pet fart. Like <laughs> that is why my humor is the way it is. My sense of humor is the way it is because I grew up watching that and nobody thought there was anything wrong with it like i would let eden watch ren and stimpy it's not like they were swearing and stuff and just but for like really prude parents there's no way that that would be allowed to be on a children's network like in this day and age so i'll be able to go walk around the mall at least get out of the house for a little bit because grandma's been doing okay this week and like the past few days I say this week, it's only Tuesday, but it's not to the point where like I'm having to lift her in and out of bed, so that that's a positive. But now like with the if they do mess with her medications and stuff, I'm worried about that because that's gonna throw her all off. She's so used to being on so many medicines all day. Like if they take her off a bunch, it's gonna just shoot her downhill again, or if they give her something new, because like all her medications have a side effect of like dizziness and stuff and she is constantly dizzy and she takes meclizine for dizziness and it never helps her so like that's what I keep saying is your dizziness is probably caused by all of these pills that have side effects of dizziness my grandma is like that she refuses to take medications if they make her dizzy because she just can't function but this one is just like whatever a doctor puts in front of her she'll take like she doesn't ask questions she never questions it and this is where we are she's constantly dizzy and achy and like all these side effects from pills I almost want to say like if she went off all her medications or almost all of them like obviously she needs her blood pre blood pressure medication but like you probably feel so much better I don't know <laughs> I'm not a doctor I'm just saying I am one that never likes to take medications for stuff unless like I'm sick and I need to take Theraflu or something or like uh, NyQuil um, but yeah otherwise it's even I'm just rambling <laughs> I'm just rambling and rambling so we're gonna go to school now and then I'm gonna run to the mall fingers crossed that they have my eyeshadow palette because I really want that and I want to do a video about it so I came home first because I didn't realize that the mall opens at 10 and not 9 so I wasn't gonna wait an hour outside so now it's quarter of 10 so I'm gonna go and try to see if I can find this stupid eyeshadow palette um, what else was I gonna say I think that's it <laughs> so we'll see if I can find it that is where I'm off to right now. This is the time to come. The mall is completely dead. For some odd reason Hot Topic isn't even open yet, so now I have to walk around. So there is a sign on the door that says they don't open till 11. So now I have to wait another half hour. This is a terrible angle. <laughs> you guys. I walked up to the gate because the, all the stores were open except for Hot Topic. So there was a sign on the door that says Monday through Friday they don't open until 11. I guess that has to do with the, whoever manages that place or whatever. So I walked around and killed time for another hour. At least I got some exercise. But then I go in there and they have none. They had none of the friggin Nickelodeon stuff like the website is littered with Nickelodeon stuff right now like clothing pajamas everything you can think of and they have none of it in that store the only thing I saw were like little not pop figures there's something else something new that came out so they don't have it either <laughs> I give up now I just friggin give up stupid eyeshadow palette the not even good quality eyeshadow and I'm going nuts trying to find it now I think I'm gonna go stop and get lunch somewhere because I just wasted my whole morning when I could have been doing work. <laughs> and now it's starting to snow. It was not supposed to snow today. Once again, our wonderful meteorologists have let us down. I know it's supposed to snow and be icy tomorrow, which is another reason that his grandma doesn't want to go to the doctors. 
it's not like she has to drive in it. It's only supposed to snow from like 10 to 12. It's like a mix of snow and ice, it says. So, I don't know. My onion ring looks like a heart, which is very appropriate with Valentine's Day coming up. <laughs> so yeah, as expected, <laughs> Steven's aunt never texted him back after he said, Hey, Grandma has an appointment in Boston tomorrow. Not sure if you remember. But, um, what else did he say? He just said, Grandma has an appointment in Boston tomorrow at Beth Israel. It's for imaging for her heart that all her doctors are waiting for to get the results of. So she never <laughs> answered him back. Like, this is what we deal with. Real nice, huh? She's like super nice to you to your face. And then just like wants nothing to do with you when she doesn't absolutely have to interact with you. <sighs> it's just so aggravating. <laughs> so aggravating. What's today, Aid? Today's Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Um, I don't know if she's doing it on purpose because she doesn't want to go, but we have had to remind his grandmother that she has an appointment today like 17 times since yesterday, and it's driving me insane. It looks like it's starting to rain now. It's supposed to snow at like 11 o'clock. Um, so yesterday, her daughter finally called the house at like... I want to say it was around three o'clock, maybe a little bit after three. What is up with my seatbelt? Um, and it sounded like she didn't want to take her. I know when she an when his grandma answered the phone, she was like, "I don't know what you're talking about. What is what is this about?" <laughs> like she she didn't know that she had an appointment, even though we've been telling her to call her daughter for a week now. Um, so I guess she explained it to her, and she's like, "Oh, where is that?" And then she told her it's at Beth Israel in Boston, and she's like, oh, I don't want to go there. So, I don't know. When they when they hung up, it sounded like her daughter wants to cancel it or reschedule it or whatever. And in my head, I'm like, fine, but they're going to make it for, like, next week. You're not going to get an appointment that's set way far out because they want to get this done. So, um, I told Stephen that. He said his aunt had texted him right after they talked on the phone, his aunt and his grandma, and said, we may have to reschedule it. So that means she's going to call her today and tell her to reschedule it, and I'm going to have to do it because she has no idea what's going on. Um, you can't, like, that's not one of those places that you can call the day of and reschedule something. They told you to give 48 hours notice because they're very busy. So that's just going to piss them off. And then, um, this morning, again, Stephen told her, you have to make sure you get up, and, because he gave her breakfast and everything, and he's like, you have to get dressed within the next hour and a half or so, because Donna's going to come get you. I don't know if Donna's going to come get her, or if she's going to call her and tell her to cancel it. Um, yeah, he called his dad last night on the phone. Obviously on the phone, how else are you going to call someone? Um, <clears throat> and told him what was going on. So he wanted to talk to his mother and tell her, this is very important that you have this done. And when he was telling her, she's like, when I have what done? She can't remember Jack anymore. And it is, it's so frustrating to live with someone like that because you are repeating yourself over and over all day long. I am a very patient person and have been my entire life, but I am losing my patience with this. I can't express my aggravation with Steven's aunt in words right now. Like, today has been so ridiculous. <laughs> I don't even know what I updated you on this morning. I don't remember what I updated. I know... I said, I, I was talking about how we had to keep reminding his grandmother of her appointment and everything. And I pretty much left it at that, so. Oh, I'm shivering because I'm so cold right now. Here's my gloves. Um, his aunt ended up calling, like, right when I got through the door when I came home after I dropped Aiden off. And she sounded like she was trying to say, like, 
one of her grandkids is sick or something, so she doesn't want to take her today because she has to handle that, whatever. So, once again, his grandmother didn't know what doctor she was going to and thought it was just for her regular primary care doctor. Like, I don't know how many times we have to tell her this. She's lost her damn mind and can't remember from five minutes ago what you told her. So that's like my first part of my aggravation for the day because I am so sick of repeating myself to her. So I guess she explained to her, no, this is a place in Boston. I was supposed to take you to Boston today. And she was all worried about the weather. And like, it snowed, yeah, and now it's rain. It wasn't something that was like horrible to drive in. That's besides the point. Um, so because his grandmother doesn't know anything about anything, I had to find the paper that had the phone number and everything on it, which it says right on the paper, if you're going to cancel a reschedule to give 48 hours in, in advance notice, and this was like two hours before they had to leave, mind you. So then they're both telling me to do it. And I, his aunt got pissed because I was like, no, I'm not doing it. Like she could hear, clearly hear me. Like, how, why is that my responsibility? She's your goddamn mother, and you're the medical proxy, and you're the one that takes her to all her appointments. Why can't you do it? <sighs> so, his grandmother couldn't read the paper because she's blind. She friggin' handed the phone to me to give her to read the number off to her. She fucking hung up on me again. Just like the last time this happened where his grandmother couldn't hear her, she handed me the phone and she hangs up on me. She took, ugh, I'm getting so aggravated that I can't even speak. So she called back like a minute later. I gave her the phone again and I like yelled the phone number, shouted the phone number so she could hear it and his grandmother was repeating it after I said it. So she didn't call back after that. And then, I want to say like two hours later, the police called, talked to his grandmother, set a, another date, which is like, it's Wednesday the 28th now. And then a little while after that, Stephen called me on his lunch break. I bitched about everything that had happened and everything that was going on. Like, she fucking hung up on me again. And... I told him, I was like, can you call your dad and see if he can take her to this appointment? Because your aunt is clearly not taking responsibility for any of this and not friggin' taking it seriously and not writing it down, not remembering whenever she has to take her anywhere. So he called his dad and his dad was like telling him to apologize on his behalf for his sister being a bitch to me. Um, but he said he was going to text her the information to make sure that she gets it and everything. So then, just now, just before I came out to come in the car, because I'm so freaking aggravated, it's still early and I don't need to leave right this second, uh, her daughter called back again. She, what pissed me off the most was that she had the police call here. Call his grandmother, who can't remember anything from one minute to the next to set up the next appointment. And thank God I was in the other room because I wrote it down on the calendar, the time and the date and everything, because she would never be able to remember that. Why can't she take care of this stuff is my question. Why can't she take care of these appointments, have them written down and know what's what, so she can call her mother instead of her mother calling her and be like, hey, tomorrow's this appointment, I'll be there at such and such a time. So, and this is the final uh, cherry on top of this whole aggravation for the day. She calls back a little while ago. She forget <laughs> now the trashmen, the trashmen are here. She called back a little while ago. She friggin' uh, asked if they had called. I guess his grandma tells her the date and the time. That's a Wednesday. I need you need to make it for a Monday or a Friday. Like, do you see my aggravation? Do you see why I get so aggravated? I shouldn't even give a shit about this, but, like, I'm the one that has to keep reminding her of everything to make sure she gets dressed when she has to go to appointments and stuff. <sighs> now we have to go through this all over again because now her daughter wants to cancel this one and then we're not going to know what day or time it is and blah, 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 blah. So, I just took a shower, so... I think I have to take a makeup 
remover wipe to my eyes because I still got eyeliner on. His grandmother is on the floor right now because she fell out of bed. I can't pick her up. Uh, but Steven's on his way home from work. Thank God this didn't happen earlier because I cannot get her off the floor and she will not let me call the fucking ambulance. <laughs> so this is just an awesome end to this shitty day. I am ready to go to bed. <laughs> it's only like quarter of six, but I'm so ready for this day to be over and hoping tomorrow goes well because we have to drive all the way to Boston. And I am very uncomfortable right now because I feel, to be quite honest, I feel like I have a, like, or I'm getting a urinary tract infection. Like, how can anything go worse right now? I have such shitty luck lately. I, oh my god. This is the last clip for today. I don't know if we're gonna f bother filming tomorrow because it's always hectic trying to get to, to Boston and plus I need to use my phone for the GPS, so... What is this? What is it? What is that? Fan. Show the fan to Cookie Monster. Fan. Oh. oh. <laughs> what are you doing, crazy man? <laughs> you shut it off, you're gonna hit the button again. <laughs> Did you get you yourself? yourself? Okay. <laughs> Did you get yourself? <laughs> <laughs> it's the funniest thing in the world when he gets Cookie Monster with it. Don't put it on your nose. It's a good Me thing like that, that thing's fan. only made of foam. <laughs> it lights up blue. <laughs> man, <you're right. laughs> Ow! That hurt! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Let James Bond move it, Mama! He went right for the crotch! <laughs> he, oh! he threw it down, so I guess he's done with that. <laughs> okay, ready? Give me a kiss. Hey. Why? He looks so tired. <laughs> Your hot ass wings. He's so super cool. full, and he only had like. How many did you eat? Five? Ish. Minor Parmesan garlic. His are it, though. mango habanero. That's not it. It's the fact that and this one demolishing a cheeseburger. Right, bud? <laughs> I'm gonna make it this end of the vlog here super quick because I know I already recorded too much for this week. But um Aiden's appointment yesterday went well. We were late again despite leaving early because Boston sucks <laughs> and we just suck navigating like we're the only people that can still get lost even with a GPS system so I'm glad I didn't decide to record that because all we were doing was arguing with each other and <clears throat> it would have been super annoying. We finally got there just for it was like a 15 minute appointment meet up with the the social worker. It was totally pointless. I wanted to be like, couldn't we just do this over the phone or something? That's something that like they should totally do with Skype or some kind of video chat thing because we didn't physically need to be there. It was it's so much stress driving there all the time because of where it is, it's like smack dab in the middle of Chinatown where it's all one way streets. So if you go the wrong way, you got to go all the way the frig around. I hate Boston. I reiterate that all the time. I don't know how people can live there. I could never commute there for work or live there and deal with that on a daily basis because I have way too much road rage for that. And I know like a lot of people just walk or ride bicycles, but <sighs> I wouldn't want to do that either. So this is the end of this week's vlog. We, Steven's dad is coming down either tonight or tomorrow. I don't know which day. So we're not really doing much this weekend. Aiden and I have to make his, uh, I'm gonna have him help me make his little chocolates for his teachers for Valentine's Day because their Valentine's Day, like gift, not gift, but um, their card exchange is on Tuesday. So we'll do that this weekend and have it all done with. And that's pretty much, other than me having a bunch of work to get done because I didn't get to do anything yesterday. We were gone all day we were so hungry after the appointment and getting lost and everything that we went out to eat at Buffalo Wild Wings and we didn't get home till like 5 o'clock. So, 
that's it for this week, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>